Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the part two, I guess, of our favorite movies and for like streaming services. So if you guys are interested into seeing, or I guess hearing what my favorite movies are on my streaming services, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, I have my iPad right here with all of my movies and there are a lot, so get ready. I am a movie fanatic. I love movies. I'd rather sit down and watch a movie than sit down to like a TV show. Uh, so I just have a lot. I did uh, Disney Plus, Hulu, and Netflix, and I love all things Disney, so there are a lot with Disney. Um, so I am super excited to share these with you guys. I'm gonna set this up. So to start this all out, you can't go wrong with a princess movie, and I am in love with the movie Moana, just what it stands for, and just how the message behind it is just really, really nice. And then following it up, completely different spectrum. I love any of the Avenger movies. You cannot go wrong with Marvel movies. You just can't. And the Avengers is just all around chef's kiss. Then I have Onward. Again, love what it stands for. Rio is just another movie that I really, really like in the sense of all the music. I love musicals, uh, movies that have music in them, dancing like movies and all of that. I have both Aladdins on here. I really like how they did the new one. I think they stayed very true with the original movie and just making it live action. I feel like a lot of the time when we do live action princess movies, I guess you could call it. Uh, I guess Aladdin's not really a princess movie, but Jasmine's in it. But when you switch to a live action, I feel like they try to make it a lot different than the original. And I really liked how true they stayed to the original movie. And then I love Mary Poppins. Uh, fun fact, I saw Mary Poppins in sixth grade on Broadway in New York, and I am obsessed with it. It is such a good musical. You cannot go wrong with Mary Poppins. And when they came out with Mary Poppins Returns, I thought that they did a really good job as well, and I loved it. Throwback to Cheaper by the Dozen. I love Cheaper by the Dozen, and Cheaper by the Dozen 2 is also a really good one. Then I have Coco, A Wrinkle in Time, Annie. I love the movie Annie. I do not care for the newest one that came out. I think it's good, but you can never go wrong with the original Annie. It's perfect. I have Because of When Dixie, Black Panther, any of the Brother Bears. Ooh, I love Brother Bear. And then... Guilty pleasure of mine, the Narnia movies. Oh my goodness. I wish all of them were on Disney Plus, but they're not. But the three that are on Disney Plus are really, really good. So if you haven't seen the Narnia movies or you haven't like introduced Narnia into your household, do it. It is whew, so good. Another chef's kiss. And then my all-time favorite movie, without a doubt, is Dumbo. Dumbo is my favorite movie. I got my very first tattoo on my shoulder blade from a quote from Dumbo. Embrace what makes you different. Don't just fly sore. And Dumbo will forever hold a special place in my heart. And when they came out with the new Dumbo... I really, really liked it. I thought that they did a good job. I liked some of the twists that they put in there that wasn't in the original movie and kind of added as if it was almost like a part two to Dumbo, but they kept a lot of the original aspects of it. I really, really liked it. And then both of the Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one and then volume two, again, can't go wrong with Marvel, uh, Marvel movies. 
And then Haley actually got me on this next one and it's Hamilton. Uh, when we went down in 4th of July with all of us to celebrate 4th of July with Haley because Daniel was on deployment, we uh, Hamilton came out, I think it was like July 3rd, and we stayed up and we watched it and it was so good. I'm obsessed with the soundtrack. If you guys have not watched it, it is so good. After Hamilton, I have any of the high school musicals. Love high school musical. Um, any of the Iron Mans, and then a Disney original uh, that they came out with on Disney Plus is Noel, and it's like a Christmas movie. I really, really liked it. Uh, it was super cute. And then I have Pirates of the Caribbean, any one. I think there's three that are on Disney Plus. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I think they're really, really good. And then I have Sky High on here. If you haven't watched Sky High, it's like a superhero they have like superpowers type of movie and it's super cool. And then I have Star Girl, which is a Disney original and then Tangled and then both of the Teen Beach movies. So those are everything that I have for Disney Plus. Like I said, there were a lot. Um, there's not that many that I have on Hulu. So starting it out with 50 First Dates, I love Fifty First Dates. I think that it is one of the movies that you can really interpret it in any way and it's going to be a correct way. And I think that it is just a super good movie and it's one of my husband's good movies that he'll actually rewatch because my husband doesn't rewatch movies all that much. So, Fifty First Dates. And then I have Hancock, Will Smith. Can't go wrong with any of the movies that he's in. He is a really good actor. And I really like the movie. Um, and then I have another Will Smith movie, I Am Legend. I love this movie. And I am not one for, like, scary movies. And I still, to this day, get jump scared when I watch this movie. But it's really good. And I really like it. And then as for Footloose, I don't like the old one. I don't, I can't get behind it. I love the new one. Uh, I guess it's not new, but the newer Footloose is my favorite Footloose. And then continuing it with the dancing and like music based movies. Any of the step up movies that you can find, watch them. They are my favorite dancing movies 100% I love Step Up and it makes me wish that I like stayed with dancing. And then one of my husband's and I's movies that we like to watch together is Princess Bride. I just think that it is such a funny movie and it's a cute movie as well. Then I have Napoleon Dynamite on here. Another fun fact, my uncle is actually John Heater who plays Napoleon Dynamite and Napoleon Dynamite was actually just a seven minute short film that they ended up really liking and so they pulled it and turned it into a whole movie and my uncle was Napoleon Dynamite. So I think it's really cool. I watch any movie that he's in and Napoleon Dynamite is definitely like my favorite out of all the ones that he's been in. Uh, Sandlot, love Sandlot. And then I have Soul Surfer. I love movies that are based on true stories. I think that they hold a high category of expectation. And I've never watched a movie that is based on a true story that I didn't fall in love with. Um, but Soul Surfer is one of those movies that I could watch time and time again. And to finish it up with my Hulu movies, Abduction with Taylor Lautner. It is a good movie, and I like the action packed in it. Alrighty. To end all of this with the most popular subscription that you could probably get out there, second to Hulu, is Netflix. And guys, if you have not watched a lot of the Netflix originals, you guys are slacking. Because Netflix originals are actually really good TV shows and movies. So a lot of my movies that are on here are actually Netflix originals. So starting it out with the trilogy of, I'm 
that I mean the trilogy that's on there with uh, to all the boys that I've loved before part one two and three OMG guys I am obsessed with them I will rewatch them every every time that I can oh beautiful and then I have another Netflix original which is Holiday and then another Netflix original Moxie and then another Netflix original, The Kissing Booth 1 and 2. I just think that they're cheesy romance, drama, comedy videos. Not videos, movies. And then I know that this one's a Netflix original, which is Work It. It's another dancing uh, movie. And it has Sabrina Carpenter in it. And... Liza, I'm not going to even try to pronounce her last name because I will butcher it. Really like that one. I can't remember if Falling in Love, which is my next video on here, is a Netflix original, but Falling in Love is really, really cute. I am obsessed with romance movies and my husband does not like them. So a lot of the time it's me watching them by myself. <laughs> so getting all like gushy and like Oh my gosh that was so cute so romance novels for me 100 my romance novels are not novels my romance movies are my husband's like horror movies we're completely different spectrums and then i'm pretty sure the perfect date is a netflix original and that one's really cute and then i also really really like suspense movies that sometimes have like jump, jump scares, but that aren't necessarily on the horror movie side of things. And Bird Box is really, really good. I am super excited for part two to come out. Well, I wouldn't even say that it's like part two, but like Bird Box 2 that's coming out, I'm super excited for. The trailers that are coming out look super good. And I just think that it's going to be a phenomenal movie because the first one was fantastic. And then Love Guaranteed is a super cute movie as well. Another romance. Uh, Feel the Beat, another like dancing one. Uh, and then I have Swiped, which is like a cute comedy movie. And then The Princess Switch and the second Princess Switch that they have with Vanessa Hudgens, I also really like. And then The Last Summer is a super cute movie and then my last movie on here is operation christmas drop so those are all my movies that i really like there's more on here because i have like one and two or all three or like stuff like that but all the ones that i listed there was 48 of them so let me know down in the comments of this video if you guys decide to watch any of these videos and, well, not videos. I keep saying videos. If you guys decide to watch any of these movies, let me know down in the comments because I would love to see what your guys' opinions are on them. And please, guys, do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. I hope that you guys are liking this two week, uh, two videos a week schedule that we're on. Uh, I'm super excited to see where it takes us, and I can't wait to see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Trying to impress me, pulling out all the stops. Making my dizzy when you tell